Okay, this is 3.2 examples part three. So this example says the height of an object t seconds after it is dropped from a height of 400 meters is s of t negative 4.9 t squared plus 490. A, find the average velocity of the object during the first eight seconds. And B, use the mean value theorem to verify that at some time during the first eight seconds of fall, the instantaneous velocity equals the average velocity. Okay, the instantaneous velocity is f prime of some value. In the mean value theorem, they call it c. And then the average velocity is basically your slope formula. So f of b minus f of a over b minus a, which is exactly the same thing as your mean value theorem. So for part A, we need to find the average velocity. That's going to be, like I stated earlier, f of b minus f of a over b minus a. Now we do need to know what a and b are, our interval. If we're talking about the first eight seconds, we're talking about from zero to eight, which means my a is zero and my b is eight. F of B means I would plug in 8 into my original function. So here's my calculator on negative 4.98 squared plus 490 is going to be 176.4. And then if I plug in 0, this is going to all be 0, which will leave me with just 490. And then at the bottom, I have 8 minus 0. So 176.490, or I'm sorry, 176.4 minus 490 is negative 313.6 divided by 8 is negative 39.2. So negative 39.2. That's my average velocity. Now, if I want to do part B, that says use the mean value theorem to verify, okay? And then it wants me to find that time. So we have to figure out um, the two criteria for the mean value theorem to apply. The first is, is this function continuous? It's a squared function. It f opens downward and it is um, going to be shifted up 490. So if I go to my function here and I type in negative 4.9 x squared plus 490 and I graph this thing here. Let's zoom. Let me do my table actually. Table sets. That's not what I want. I want my window. There we go. I want it to go up to at least 500 because it is starting at 490, maybe even higher than that, maybe even 600. Um, my x values, I will keep that. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's keep our x as the same. We want the y value to go up to 600 and maybe even do our markers by 25s. That way it's not just one big black solid dot. So this is what my graph looks like. And this is from zero to 10. So if you notice, here is eight in this interval in here from 0 to 8 the function is continuous so f of x or it's not even f of x right in here it's called s of t s of t is continuous on 0 8 and is it differentiable that we don't know let's go over here on the side and figure out what s prime of t is So if we take the derivative of this, it's negative 4.9 times 2t plus 0, which is negative 9.8t, and that's it. Is this fine for every value between 0 and 8? Not including 0 and 8. Yes, this is not ever going to be undefined for any t value. So that means um, S of T 
is differentiable on 0, 8, the open interval. This means, therefore, according to the mean value theorem, the instantaneous velocity will equal the average velocity at some time within the first eight seconds. So this is you verifying what they asked you to verify up here, okay? Um, but now it also wants me to find that time. So since I've already found F prime or S prime in this particular case, um, and again, you could use S's here instead of F's. It doesn't matter what they named the function, whether the, na the function is named Frank or it's named Steve, it's still a, just a representation of a function. Okay, so here if I want to take that and I want to evaluate it at C, I want to find this. So I need to evaluate this at C which means I'm gonna get 9.8 C. Then I already took this value and I got negative 39.2. So if I wanna solve for C, I just need to take negative 39.2 and divide it by negative 9.8. And I get the C value equal to four. So that time that they're talking about is four seconds.